Hey there, welcome to BIM Tips and Tricks by ENG. My name is Ignacio and today I want to show you how to overwrite graphics for a link IFC file. When we first link an IFC file, we can only see it with a log default visibility. On shaded display we see it all grey and on hidden lines we see it all white. We can't overwrite its graphics in view by right clicking it and we can't apply filters on it neither because there are no properties available and we can select its elements individually. So, how can we see it the way we need? We are going to create a new Revit file to link it on our model that will only contain the IFC file. There, we are going to override its graphics. To do this, we are going to File, Open, IFC and we select the file. Once we have it, we need to find IFC parameters that we can use to create and apply filters. We can usually find those on elements type properties. Now we can create view filters to override the IFC graphics as we like. We will create a view template with these overrides for 3D views, section views and plan views. Here is one extra tip. You can apply one template for all types of views and it will work fine. We don't need to create a template for plan views, a template for section views and a template for 3D views. We will just create a 3D template and apply it to sections and plan views as well. Once we are done, we will save this Revit file as a project and link it on our model. Now, we go to the view that we want to override the IFC visibility. We open the visibility graphic settings and go to the Revit links tab. There, we are going to select custom mode. We will choose the link view that we have just applied our template on and on the view filters options, we are going to choose by link view. Now we should be able to see our IFC the way we need it, as a Revit link. With this same logic, we can change its visibility for all type of view. Notice that, for example, if we are changing this on a section view, we must choose the same type of view on the link. That's why it was important to set at least one view of each type. Well, that's all I got for today, I hope you find it useful. If you liked the video, give a thumb up and subscribe for more Beam tip and tricks videos.